Truth or dare? Dare. Yeah. 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 All right. What's the dare? Oh, um, solve that Rubik's cube. It's already done. Is it? Concrete Jungle takes the magic of city building and blends it with a deck builder. You manage a city on a compact grid and build onto it with cards from your deck such as a school or a fire station. Being on a grid causes a lot of placement havoc and maneuvering around old buildings serves as a neat puzzle mechanic. More space can be made by clearing city blocks but that is dependent on the satisfaction of your increasingly demanding residents. The game's already been funded so soon there'll be a Concrete Jungle out there. And Ganga is a scary night in Louisiana. The premise is a bit cliche. A journal investigates her mother's vanishing 20 years ago in the swamplands, only to find a nightmarish world of horror. However, as the world is explored, there are some new things to find. There are diverging paths, a crafting system that takes inspiration from folklore magic, and the vaguely titled moments that put you in unique scenarios. Our favourite feature is the VHS tapes that transfer you into the video to play as a witness to the horrific night 20 years ago. Ngonga is a scary night in Louisiana. Welcome to Convoy, a tactical roguelike-like inspired by Mad Max and FTL, in which you travel the desolate wastelands of Omic Prime in search of parts to repair your broken spaceship. This is the main map screen, which shows your MCV. Convoy is a tactical roguelike in which you lead your convoy across a randomized planet to gather all the parts you need to repair your spaceship. The map is divided amongst three factions, and as you traverse it, you'll encounter random events that consist of dialogue, role-playing, and combat. Combat takes place on an innovative, moving battlefield, as you try to keep your convoy moving forward against aggressive enemy waves. The main vehicle itself is fairly limited in terms of combat, so there is an emphasis on building a squad of more mobile and offensive units to protect it, hence the name Convoy. Epic Manager has turned adventuring into a business by giving you your own adventuring agency. You scout for different wizards, warriors and other adventurer classes to sign to contracts and add to your squad. The team is then used in random events and quests that you have which provide experience and subsequent level ups. The quests play out in a tidy little strategy game dependent on the stats of the adventurers as well as spells and their abilities. The quests play out in a tidy little strategy game dependent on the stats of the adventurers as well as spells and their abilities. Epic Manager is a top of the range sports management game brought to the world of fantasy and that's more than just fantastic. As usual, here's our report on the games from last month. There are a lot of games with giant mechs fighting each other in a city, and that's because mechs are awesome. However, Override breathes some fresh silliness into the genre, reimagining mechs as more uncoordinated and lethargic robots that are just plain ridiculous. Also in co-op, different parts of the mechs are controlled by different players, which takes things to a whole other level of clumsy insanity. The destructive trail a mech leaves in its wake to complete a mission as mundane as rescuing a kitten from a tree epitomizes the humor and fun of Override. As always, thanks for watching. My name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on Indie Former. Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 yeah.